so yeah, hello guys welcome back this is viren kumar so in this video session i am going to discuss about the jenkins you all know the jenkins is this jcd tool but before going to start with the jenkins we have to download the latest version of the jenkins and we need to install on our operating system machine okay then we should know the installation process step by step on the windows machine how we can install and what are the steps we should take care of while we are going to install the jenkins on the windows machine and what is the initial setup when we are ready to use for the jenkins then what is the initial setup for the jenkins okay so the first i am going to cover the download process of the jenkins the latest msi file so for that we will go to the google and on the google you can go to this url jenkins.io/download okay i will provide this url on the descriptions so you can directly navigate to this url and there you will see the stable and the regular releases weekly now you scroll down and then you can see the download the jenkins 2.33 lts okay long term support version and this is the download the jenkins latest version okay so what you can do you can download either this version or the this version so i prefer to download this version okay and the windows which for which we are going to download the jenkins if you are using the another operating system macintosh and the ubuntu you can download as per your operating system requirement so as of now i am going to do the installation for the windows machine so i will click on it and then you will see the thank you for downloading the windows installer so you can see on the bottom side that the dot msi file is going to download okay and once the download process is complete it will take some times 2 or 3 minutes once it's completed then you can install this jenkins.msi file okay so this is my jenkins.msi yesterday i downloaded this latest jenkins version okay so to install this installer on the windows machine you just double click on it now you can see the first window of the setup wizard so you simply click on the next then you choose the install on this location so you can find the jenkins on this location so you then you can see the next now there are the login types so run service is the local system and run service is local in the domain user so if you have the account valid account to to install this jenkins this is basically used for the official purpose if any organizations you are working in the paid versions for that you can use this account and the password version otherwise for the practice on the local systems if you are the beginner to learn this ai cd with the jenkins then you can download and and you can log in with this run services as the local system okay so as of now i am going to choose this options and just simply click on the next okay there the default port number is the 8080 okay this is the port number where the jenkins will run so you can test this port number then you can say the next now you need to select the jdk version so the latest jenkins.msi file you need to have the jdk 11 okay so the jenkins you can need the jdk 11 version so you can download the if you don't have so here you need to select the correct version of the jdk so this is applicable for the correct version of the jenkins so uh for all the latest version of the jenkins in the 2022 the jenkins need the jdk 11 version so if you have the jdk 1.8 it will not work you need to change the jdk version okay 
I have both the JDK 1.8 and the 11 so I will select the JDK 11 version and now I am going to use the this JDK for my current installer of the Jenkins then simply click on the next and there Jenkins will be installed on the local hard drive okay I will select these services start the Jenkins services of the install okay and then next now you can install the Jenkins and then it will do the validation of the installation and you can check the status okay so Jenkins is installed successfully on the Windows machine to exit this setup you just click on the finish now the download process is complete installation process is done now the initial setup okay when the Jenkins is installed on your operating system machine then you can access the Jenkins by localhost 8080 portal I will give you this link on the description you can directly click and you can access the Jenkins you can wait for sometimes two or three minutes then the Jenkins will start on this URL so when first time you try to access the Jenkins through the web portals then you will get the getting started window so first you need to unlock the Jenkins to unlock the Jenkins you need the initial admin password so how to get the initial admin password you can follow this link on your local system so you can go to the program data Jenkins dot Jenkins by secrets and you will have the initial admin password you can add it with notepad and then you will get the initial admin password after that you can paste the initial admin password here and simply click on the continue ok localhost 8080 is the default port number where the Jenkins is running as a windows service now you can choose the plugin installations ok so select the plugins to install you can choose the plugins to install ok otherwise you can go with the default installation plugin suggested so these are the default plugins suggested by the Jenkins so when plugin is installed on your system then you will get the next uh, window is that the getting started is create first admin user it will ask you to create the username and the password okay the first uh, username so I can select the username it customize username or it is giving the skip and continue as an admin user so when you choose the admin user you need to log in with the initial admin password whenever you're trying to log into the Jenkins uh, web portal so I will select the username as an admin okay and then I will select the password okay and then I will confirm the password then the full name full name we can provide the as a test user and the email address so you can select the email address of yours save and continue now it is asking the instance configurations means Jenkins URL you can access the Jenkins on this URL if you are running the Jenkins on your local host you can access the local host at this portal if you have any IP address or the domain host name then you can provide that uh, Jenkins as a URL then save and finish so as of now I am selecting the local host at your, at your portal save and finish now the Jenkins is ready to use you can start using the Jenkins so this is the first window of the Jenkins okay after the successful installation of the latest version of the Jenkins on the Windows machine okay. from here we are going to perform the CI CD operations using the Jenkins now you can log out from the Jenkins now 
it is whenever second time you are going to install or the login to the jenkins so when you are second time now when you try to log in to the jenkins second time then it will ask you the username and the password so the username is uh, the username which we have provided during the installation and the password same keep me signing okay you can log in to with the same username and the password and you will get the window okay